Hello everybody, Dave Calhoun here in the Standard TV and Appliance Kitchen with my buddy Patrick McKee. He's the executive chef from Perlow Restaurant and we are cooking today. So let's talk about what you're gonna make. All right, so very excited today. This is gonna be something that's very simple, but the flavors you're gonna get out of this are gonna be pretty extraordinary. So what we have are some cedar planks that I got from uh, Home Depot actually. Uh, you see a lot of things in the Pacific Northwest about cooking any kind of like salmon or steelhead, sockeye, whatever you have on these special cedar planks. Cost you 18, 19, 20 dollars to go get them at some of the grocery stores. Uh, I spent two dollars and fifty cents getting a six foot board yesterday. Uh, all you need to really find is a cedar plank, uh, either for fence or uh, shingles would work as well. Uh, anything that's untreated, especially. Uh, and then all I did was I just covered it with a little bit of olive oil. I fired my grill up at home last night and then just put them right on there and got a little bit of char on the wood itself. And then uh, it's gonna impart tons of flavor on this. Perfect, and we decided to use sockeye salmon. A couple reasons, number one, it's in season right now, but sure also uh, for people that are cooking steelhead, we're in the winter steelhead time, it's very lean. It's not as fatty as, let's say, a spring chinook or a fall chinook. For sure. So the, the steelhead and the sockeye, you cook a little bit differently, but let's talk about what you're gonna put on it. Okay, great. So what we have is a little uh, spice rub. I like having all my, my little spice rubs going. So what I have here is primarily brown sugar. And then uh, with that, we put a little bit of uh, orange zest and then a little bit of uh, one of the, it's called ancho chili, so a little bit of a chili powder as well. This is definitely a uh, homage to my former uh, mentor, uh, Vitaly Paley. I worked with him for uh, about 10 years. And this was uh, uh, cooking on the cedar plank like this was something that I learned from him. So I'd like to show everybody what it is that we do. Sure, and I so. can smell the pepper from that. It's, uh, for sure. it's got a really yeah. good smell to it. Uh, not super uh, uh, picante, you know, it's not very very strong in, uh, in heat, but it's got a lot of uh, good chili flavor. So anyway, all I'm doing is I'm just gonna rub this with it. And this is almost just like here, there's a little bit of salt, the orange zest like I was talking about. Well, it's very similar to what we would use if we were going to smoke this in a, a smoker. The brown sugar, exactly. the salt, the pepper, the, the seasonings that we would use. Exactly. And uh, I think the plank's going to add a lot to it. Right. And then what we do is, uh, again, an homage to my mentor. So a little bit of raw yellow onion. And then I just have some uh, mixed herbs that I put together. Some uh, parsley, dill, tarragon, some chives. We're going to do it just like that. And then just a little splash of olive oil right over the top. We've already got our oven going for this. I've got it set at about 400. We've got a little uh, delicata squash that I prepared here. So basically, they're round squash. You can see what we've got right here. This is a delicata. So all I did was just hollowed it out, just cut it into rings, and then we're gonna cook that again right on this uh, cedar plank as well. Uh, to finish then, uh, we've got some local mushrooms as well. So uh, some chanterelle, and then this one is uh, a cultivated mushroom called a hen of the woods. And these ones you already sauteed up ahead of time? I sauteed ahead of time. I didn't want to cook these from raw. I've already cooked the delicata squash also. So all we need to do is reheat while we're cooking the fish. Great, let's throw it all in the right, oven. We're ready to go. That looks delicious. All right, got everything nice and hot. See how the onion just got very, very little translucent. The herbs are still on there and they're nice. Yeah, it's got a nice glaze to it. Right. So then just... It's definitely hot. This is a nice, simple dish. I feel like it's uh, pretty easy to execute. Yeah, and it only took about five minutes, which you don't want to overcook this fish, especially no. this thin of fish. It's not yeah, real fatty. Exactly. You can see a little bit of the white oil coming up on that piece yeah. of meat. It's a great piece there, and, and you don't want to overcook that. It'll get uh, rubbery and kind of lose the flavor. Yeah, for sure. So and I think you'll uh, end up losing that nice cure that we put on there as well. So a little too much is too far, so a little bit less is, is going to be more in this aspect. You ready to eat? Ready for a taste test? <clears throat> Get a little bite of this here, take some of that mushroom there. The mushroom does it. Mm -hmm. The mushroom adds a lot to it. It's, it's really got good texture. It's not too sweet because it's a really light rub. Right. But the mushroom adds a lot to it and I've never done it with the, uh, the mushroom and with the uh, onions on it. I've always just kind of lemon right. pepper or whatever you get used to. A little, a little fancy, but I think it does the trick very nicely. Yeah, that's like delicious. It.